party people and welcome to this week's video. I'm very excited. Today we are in my kitchen at my house. Um, we are baking. I thought it might be fun today to try a recipe from my Harry Potter cookbook. This is the unofficial Harry Potter cook, Harry Potter, not Harry Potter, Harry Potter cookbook by Dinah Buchholz. And I'm very excited to make some Irish soda bread. I've been wanting to make bread for a while and I thought why not make it book related? So today we're gonna to make some Irish soda bread from her recipe. So to start, I have the things I need. I have my cookbook. I will put the recipe in the description. I have all of the ingredients of which there are many. Um, I have my bowls and I'm ready to get started. So let's do that. Okay, so the first thing is I don't actually have any buttermilk. Um, which is something. So instead of buttermilk, I will be using one of the oldest tricks in the book: regular milk plus adding a little lemon juice to regular milk. Why do all of my videos include me looking at things? Where in the world is the proper measuring cup? So my my milk only had a cup. Cool. Okay. We're out of milk, but we are not out of half and half. So we're just gonna use some half and half. Okay, so next I'm gonna add in just, is this new lemon juice? I swear. So once you have some good old fashioned uh, lemon juice in your milk, just give it a good whisk or a stir move my makeshift buttermilk aside. I don't have the right kind of dish, so we're just using these. Mmm, butter. Yummy, yummy. And then we're just gonna rub the pan in butter. This is incredibly, like, already, if this bread works, it will already be interesting. Like, you guys have no idea what twists I have up my sleeve next in terms of what ingredients we do and do not have. Um, it's chaos time. So far the only thing we've done correctly is preheat the oven. So in the next, in a large mixing bowl, how large? In a large mixing bowl, whisk together the flour, baking soda, cream of tartar, salt, and sugar. Okay, so first flour, baking soda. This is Irish soda bread. So baking soda is a very important ingredient. Okay, so we've got our baking soda. Cream of tartar, okay, here's another confession. I don't have any, but I Googled and many sources say use white vinegar. We're gonna put that in the liquid later. Salt. Sugar. Three and a little, little extra. Okay, so I'm gonna use a spatula to mix this because I'm gonna. Oh, honey! Wait, rather than crumbling in the butter like the recipe says, I'm gonna use my mom's pastry cutter and just kind of like do the same thing, but. Not with my hands. Okay, so now my butter has been somewhat crumbled um, via the pastry cutter, which means, ah, uh, there's flour in my hands, which means it is time for the next step, which is to, with a wooden spoon, stir or fold in the egg and buttermilk until a dough begins to form. Let's be real, this is not how you should do this, but we're just gonna crack the egg straight in it's all gonna be mixed together anyways. And just scramble it into the milk. <laughs> scramble, scramble. Okay, so there's a cream tartar. So that's how much uh, vinegar we're gonna add. Oh my God, it's, okay. One, and then Ugh. 
I am trying to mix with one hand, so like the action's not great. But this is, this is, you know, this is what's going on. What's well, shaken with our bread, and this is the damage done to my counter. to score an X on the top, like, what's the word? Half an inch deep. Obviously I'm supposed to be doing this on a, with a round pan, but I'm not. So, here goes nothing. Also, I'm sorry the footage is bad. I'm just trying to like, also like, see what I'm doing. This might be deeper than an inch and a half, but it's fine. It's fine. Oh, she's so pretty. Oh yeah, that's definitely deeper than half an inch, okay. It doesn't matter because she's beautiful. Hi everyone, there was a cast iron fish in the oven. This glove got very hot. It's now a 425 degree cast iron fish. Cool! Anyways, the instructions said to put it in at 425 for 15 minutes. So I'm gonna do that and not burn myself. Here we go. And after 15 minutes, we can take the heat down. Okay, so it has officially been 15 minutes. So now I'm going to reduce the heat to 350. About, we are about halfway through our cook time. So I'm just gonna give our little birdie boy an itsy bitsy test with the red thermometer. Okay, so now here's the part where I try not to burn my hand. Homegirl looked like she was gonna burn, so I took her out about six minutes early. So as you could probably see, I just cut the bread. There are lots of little crumbly bits, so I'll just eat them separately. But to aid in my taste testing, we have a plain one, a plain piece, a Christmas jammed piece, and a blackberry jammed piece. Now it's time for me to taste the bread. So I think first I'm just gonna taste like the bread itself. Nothing on it. The texture is nice. It feels fully cooked. Um, ooh. Oh, well, that's good. It's like, it's not very sweet at all. It's just kind of like, it tastes like bread. It's also still warm. Um, The texture that's warm is kind of, I don't know. Is it legal to say bread is, you can definitely tell that it's not sweet. So next let's go for the blackberry. Ooh, the, the jam's like bled a little. Mmm, wow, that's good, yeah. Wouldn't you give it like some jam? Yeah, well, wow, that's good. Um, and finally, Christmas jam. Mmm. Okay. So I'm just gonna give you my comments now. I think this was surprisingly a success. Um. Even though when we started out, it seemed like immediately all hope was lost. I definitely cut the slice a little thick. She's got a crust. I may have left her in a little long, even though I took her out early. But she is still quite warm, actually. Um, she's good. She's a hearty little bread. I've never made bread before. So I would say this is a success. Um, thank you to Dinah for making a recipe that even I with 
never having made bread and like half of the ingredients managed to make fish pretty good. Overall, Irish soda bread from the unofficial Harry Potter cookbook approved. Also, in case you're wondering the reference, um, at the top of each recipe in the book, um, Diana has put um, like a reference to where it comes in the book. So for this one it says, Irish soda bread. Mrs. Weasley always seemed prepared when it comes to food. Harry can burst in on her in the middle of the night and she'll still be able to serve him a nice meal. Fresh bread is part of it when Dumbledore brings Harry to the burrow after taking him to Professor Slughorn's. See Harry Potter and the Half-Blood Prince, Chapter 5. So yeah, she like references in the book where in the book she just became from and stuff. And it's very cool. I like, I've had this cookbook for many years now, but overall, I approve. Thank you.